station. It's your man DJ Heartbreaker, HB Radio, HB Radio, LV.com. DJ printing up live on the ones and twos, XOA doing what she does. What is that? Crazy as fuck. <laughs> Crazy as fuck in your corner. You don't give yourself some more credit, girl. Come on. <laughs> I'd be like, what do Wait, I do? <laughs> what, what do I do? Blanco was playing Who Do You Love the other day and came on the air. Blanco was like, Who do you love? Me. <laughs> yeah, I said myself. <laughs> Me. Of course you do. It's okay. Lil Uzi Vert, man. Lil Uzi Vert. He is dropping a new album called Eternal uh, Take. Okay. Is it a take? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know, man. He seems like one of the dudes that I know. watched a super amount of anime growing right, up. Right, right, right. True. I know a lot of his. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. He's like, <laughs> right, he's no. one of those dudes for sure. There is something he wrong with that, though. No, there's not, but he definitely. Oh, yeah. You like anime? Dragon Ball Z is his You like anime? It. No, but he, there's. it's okay to watch a lot of it, and he looks like a cartoon character. Shout out to my brother. He watches <laughs> a lot of anime. I, I, I still like don't Lo-Zi. like that shit, though. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. First off, let's talk about the meaning of um, the title. Um, Eternal, of course, means forever, and a take means to oh. overtake. You guys just pronounce it take? Yeah. So, um, thoughts? Uh, is it going to be fire or trash? Prenup, you go first. Fuego. Yeah? That's what I think. Instant Fuego? fuego? Instant Fuego. Yeah? I it's think... a Uzi, bro. It's okay, so 13 but, songs typically. Go I'm, ahead, go ahead, go I'm ahead. I'm thinking half and half. Yeah? Because they're from the albums that he's already put out, they're pretty much half and half. And just right? The, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't like every song I like, on, his, well, on I mean, every album. I think his first album he put out, I think every track was hot. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I know for an artist like Uzi, and I'm not discrediting him in any way, um, but if that's how you want to take it, then fuck it. Um, I just, I don't see longevity. Like, I see a hit. I do. You know, every three, four years. I, you know what I mean? I, I, I did it at first, and when I saw... The last cook, because he was on the XL, the the double XL of 2016, right? Right. The classes after that gave him more hope. I feel like, <laughs> right? Because listening to they the shit that's it. come out now, I definitely fucking mm-hmm. him a lot more. Right. I've also seen him in concert. No, no, Wild. no, and I'm I not taking away. Crazy. I know concerts Wild. like that. You know, like the Trippy Reds, the no, Uzis, yeah. the MGKs. But their shows are always great. Six nine, even. Yeah. Even six nine, we I just seen it. yeah. <laughs> Crazy. crazy like they are like insane jumping little and pump it's crazy. little pump shows are yeah. insane I saw, I saw him live too i wasn't that impressed little no. pump? Uzi, Uzi was way you know who's better. boring as fuck in concert though I heard the weekend future was. the migos and future and migos. no i i definitely agree future uh me, me and xoa i've we, seen future twice we went to we went to the drake and future down. concert okay um everybody's probably wondering well, <laughs> the first the first why we went to a concert together looking at us who cares? So <laughs> the first, the first Drake concert we went I have to. I a future... crush on her, bro. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna tell you... your wife. <laughs> That's Can you up. listen? Go ahead. So the first Drake concert we went to, Future opened, and there was yeah. nobody in there. Nobody yeah. cared. <laughs> and then the second concert we went to was their their dual tour. Yeah. And still, everyone sat down when well, Future no, performed. Yeah, that was super funny. It was like Drake came out and did like a good forty five minutes worth, and then. You know, a little outfit change, a little switch up. Feature came out and everybody was like this. Crickets. Like, no, I wish, no, I, you I, wish I had a you, cricket. You weren't even supposed to say anything. It was supposed to be quiet. <laughs> well, that's the point of saying crickets. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, I think it's going to be fire, man. Yeah. I think it's going to be fire. Because now, nowadays what happens is what, what I'm seeing now is artists put out albums for the purpose of doing a tour about it. Which it wasn't always like, like that before. They would go go on tour and perform. Do you like, feel like that's label? Middle. That's the labels forcing. I or? think I think it is, but that also means to me that this album's gonna be fired because if he's gonna be performing this shit, and well, I mean, too, well, it's concept. gonna be a, a lot of hype. Well, let's back up for a minute. I mean, every artist puts out music album, whether it's a flop or not. In our opinion, they believe in this music, yeah. or else they wouldn't put it out. Yeah. Well. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Whether yeah. we like it or not, someone else might. So. No, for sure, for sure. And, and that's what I've always said. You know, what you like, I might not. What I like, you might not. Well, it, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's already difficult. like that. Yeah, it's already like that. Blicky, uh, got this. Get the fuck out of here. Seriously. I'm a huge Closet 6 9 fan. It's not even Closet. You keep talking about it all the time, so everyone's going to know. Speaking of 6 9 World's biggest. You know, I brought this up the other day with Blanco. I got to talk about it again. Um... Drake and Nikki put out, um, you know, a little Instagram video today, and Drake was like, 
what's what's that song called again? Fifi? And she laughed hella hard. Fifi. <laughs> I mean, is he friends with Nikki? Yes. And yeah, is there a possibility I, there can be ever a Drake or a Lil Wayne collaboration with Six Nine? No. Are you sure? No. Are you yes. sure? I'm sure. Don't yes. tell me to put the fucking no. song out. They're putting the song out. And what happens no, when I'm the song? No. What happens that when buzzer the song? Is for a no. Yeah. Well, too bad. When the song comes out, then what? Well, I guess we're wrong. Yeah. Probably not. But for now. For now, we're not. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to hear a Drake six nine song. I don't Why hear not? Six, nine. No, because <laughs> I'd rather him stay on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Keep like, your keep like your Trump. trolling. Just, just stay there. Yes. All right. Hold up. So what if it's what if it's six nine? On the hook, Drake no. on <laughs> no. Drake and Wayne. Drake wouldn't let that happen. <laughs> you, know, you know, Drake wants Drake to sing on that motherfucker. Yeah. Again, I just want to say this: Ooh, no, 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 no offense to like Six Nine and what he's done. I just don't like his music. Yeah. But that's just there's like, only there's only two songs I'll listen to. Again, and that's again, that. again. Not everybody's gonna like his shit. I'm part of that. How's your poll? Oh, How's your poll looking over there? Poll, only two people said yes that they like him and. Like eight or nine said that no. That's a weak ass poll though. <laughs> well, because no one's. <laughs> she has no fucking friends. No wonder she's an Uzi friend. All I my know. friends are dead. Wow. And I'm we fine with that because I have three friends that I like. Everyone else can. There's not four. Off. God, God herself and Noah. So there's two in here. Yeah, there's. <laughs> there's two in here and one at work. Wow. So I'm not a friend. <laughs> Yeah, my chances just went from like 20% to one. Anyways, um, so Lil Uzi, his album, We Conclude, it'll be fire. Did it say? Did they say when it's coming out? Um, who cares? Okay, he, he really so. Oh, man. <laughs> he, he might pull, pull, well, we know it's coming, but I'm going to say he might pull a Beyonce and just drop the shit. I feel like you know, Uzi I, would do some Beyonce shit. I always feel, I've been telling people for like years, you know, and Khaled said the same thing, you know, that's the old people way of doing it you know promoting for three months who the fuck cares you got an album ready drop that shit. that shit and if you have a fan base they're gonna flock to it regardless if you promote it or not Excellent. that's what it is